So hi everyone, we are going to review this lovable.dev app which converts idea into an application by just a simple prompting. So you all you have to do is just prompt something. It's a beautiful app. You describe, it builds you a first version, then you talk to an editor, then your product is ready and you can take that entire piece of code out into GitHub. And as a developers, you know, we are just trying to figure out that how we can speed up our product development for our customers. So I'm going to walk you through a real life demo of uh, one of the use case. I'm going to sign up with a very new fresh account uh, in front of you. So it's going to send me an email. Uh, I just see if my email box has been hit. So I have just created this particular email. And let's see if this has arrived or not. Let's sync this up. Yes, we have the first mail on this account. I'm just going to verify this. Very simple steps. So while we are getting redirected, it's just going to ask a couple of questions, which I'm going to fill it right now. So I'm ready with the basic information uh, that I've fed in. It's just a simple continue button. I'm all ready now. So what is the next step? Next step is to actually think of what idea I'm looking at. So I'm actually looking at creating a app, which is a website, which is basically for a product, which is a personal AI assistant. So I have done a little bit of homework before this while creating my prompt, which will go into this section. And this section, I'm not going into the details of how we arrived at the prompting because prompting in itself is more of a consultative job. But I just pick up my prompt which I have prepared and I'm just going to put this prompt into this section and while this prompt is getting its magic done I'm just going to put the publish button which is so now what's happening is that you know I have actually created my idea I said that okay I need uh, a website where I need some section hero banner I need the product what personal AI assistant does and how are we going to make sure that, you know, people are going to talk to us so that they have a proper proof of concept, what this product does, so some features. So typically how you talk to any web developer when you go and explain your idea. So, so this is all what has gone. And then there are certain instructions, you know, what we have to do and how we have to create these things. So I don't go into the prompt details and, and stuff, but yes, I have given a decent 30 minutes to 60 minutes in creating this prompt and and all the elements the the ui so i'd use chat gpt to create my prompt so i was actually trying to check all the personas and everything so what it is happening now is it's it's running uploading all the reference images and everything so we just scroll it down and running in in the in the bottom so all this this is quite a lengthy prompt and we say that okay what it is doing i just Put this thing on that side it says that it's creating the code so while a lot of people will not understand what this tsx or you don't need to go into the details of it it's actually doing something that i have asked the lovable.dev interface to do and while it is spinning off the entire outcome we will be just understanding how all of these things are coming and putting in one place and since i need my entire website to also work fully functional so that you know that that is where I want that people coming to my website should either leave their email ID name and I should have more and more so I've actually created a small integration in my prompt also that I will walk you through so this is something which which you will get an idea that okay how to make a website with with more prompting as a, as a technique so finally we are ready with the website martians.ai with all the components the hero banner how i've prompted so it actually talks about okay how i can understand this thing how i can help use martians i found 300 mails so it's talking about all the use cases in terms of what this ai assistant is doing for uh, the end users so you have all the sections like I can go to the feature section, I can go to the use cases section. So I have various use cases, how basically a person can use it. So write top five performing pages, lifestyle, plan my meals. So, so these are kind of use cases how you speak to this agent. Then there's a live demo 
which is basically an integration where it says that okay how are you going to do this thing and it is a working demo so it it is working live here and it is the recorded stuff the content is coming up and we have then the pricing section so this pricing section talks about all the components that i have fed in and you can join the waitlist so now this is a functionality that we will actually go through it but before that i'll show you that okay reclaim the time regain the balance it's talking about something meet the meet the minds behind it so we have all the people who are you know associated and then terms and everything has been done so and it has all the necessary details which i have fed in the prompt so i would say that this is one single prompt and perfection to the best now let's see if the join list is working pretty much for us or not so what is typically going to happen either we are going to have join list from here or we are going to have the joining of the thing from any of the price list so let's say i say that okay i want to join this thing and my email id is join the wait list so it said that it gave me an error so i'm just going to put, pick up that okay there was an error so i'm going to put the next prompt can you fix the get response api error as i have given necessary credentials or else ask for same so let's see what it does so that's the second prompt so it is going to the wait list model which is this one so it is actually seeing where is the error and what is the gap and it is going to let me understand that if it can fix this particular piece for me or not and then whatever is required we will will supply and it's just a prompting so it says i have modified this thing api due to the course issue direct api so it is telling me that okay what could be the reason so i have to see client server api is perfectly fine or not so i have my api node which is in the get response so i just come here i just check my api my api key is perfectly there smartians.ai anything that i need to do with this i can just check if something has to be done no perfectly fine let's come back here and see so it says it's current implementation ensure let's try once again in case it works so we are going to put up this thing wow bingo it says that it's been done so one single prompt and we go to the contact section and we say that okay in this particular part whether we have got our data or not so that we can understand whether the api call has been successful or not and we can we can just go a lot of junk over here but no worries so this is something where i would like to see my data let's see why the data is not coming in so we have to fix this up and we will we'll just check that once more so bingo we have our data which we have fed in from there has been arrived in in this get response section and i can now do a lot of things so coming back to the the console again now we are saying that okay our website is ready and we are good to go the next step is just click on this publish i can connect the domain or i can just publish this url and my website would be live in the full fledged version which i can connect to a domain later on so which probably would take more than not not more than 2 minutes for me so let's see how does it look as a full fledged one so in in less than 10 minutes and i think a little bit of brainstorming i am ready with complete fully functional website which has a capability to have the waitlist feature and i have you know a beautifully looking website which i can go live right now so understand this is the kind of thing which is moving in and one quick feature that i can always connect this to my github account so i can and push this entire piece of source code to my console and i can edit it thereafter so i don't need to have anything with lovable but for now i would say that i'm falling in love with lovable and let's keep rolling <laughs>